Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, look what we have here. It is the latest version of what has become a very, very popular model for CJRB. This is the CJRB Lite. Now, um, I've had several versions of the CJRB, or yeah, the CJRB Pyrite through here. I mean, we've seen them all, I think. I, I think we've seen every single one of them so far. And this is the latest, the Pyrite Lite. And a little bit different, we're talking FRN handles on this one. So the best thing, I'm, I'm just going to jump right into this. The best thing I think about this, because this is a Pyrite for 30 bucks. Yeah, $29.99 is what you can find this thing for. I think that is fantastic. You've still got the AR RPM 9 steel. Um, deep carry clip, lanyard hole, reversible clip. I mean, it's button lock. It's a pyrite for 30 bucks. That is a dang good deal, in my opinion. I love the pyrite. I do believe the pyrite light is my favorite version of the pyrite now. Just for the simple fact of price alone, because you're getting you're getting everything you got in the pyrite. Okay, FRN handles. Okay, different FRN scales. FRN's not my favorite handle material, but it's not bad. You've got that milling going on on it, so you get a decent grip with it. But thirty bucks, I'm digging it. I I am definitely definitely digging it. So. Just as a reminder, we'll go through this. But like I said, FRN handles, open construction, everything's chamfered off very nicely. Nested liners going on there. Let's check the centering. Centering's pretty much dead on. Like I said, deep carry clip, recess screws, reversible, lanyard. We're ma I hope we're making everybody happy here. I, I, I would hope this is going to make a lot of people happy. You know, because, I mean, even with some, I mean, the Pyrites... There were several Pyrite versions that weren't overly expensive, you know, in my mind, you know, 50-ish, 50, 50 60 bucks maybe. That's not too bad. 30 bucks. I'm down. Anyway, okay. Uh, dual thumb stud opening button lock. Tiny bit of button stick on it. Just a tiny bit. Nothing I'm mad about, trust me. Um, I've seen much worse. And, you know, it's, yeah, it's there. It's a tiny bit. I would say slightly better than average. Slightly better than average on the button stick. From my experience. Totally going on my experience here. But CJRB, there you go. You got J1945, ARRPM9. You got the Warney style blade on this one. Now, from what I can see, there's two different versions of this one. You've got the green version, and then there's a blue version out there blue version is pretty cool blue version does not have the coated blade but overall specs it's a seven and a half inch knife you got about four and a quarter on the handle going to give you three and a quarter right there on the blade full cutting edge is going to be shy of three inches about two and seven eighths ish right in there um you've got the generous forward finger toil i can get up on it now you got to be careful obviously it's not a full i mean it's pretty close to a full half moon the handle is cut down a little bit but got a nice finger toil and then the button lock absolutely um a little bit of jimping going on up there it's eh that's <laughs> about what it is um it, it holds me a little bit not great we've seen better we've seen uh worse i, I don't know if that coating kind of helps me slide around on it it's not catching me a lot, but it is a little bit. So, but let's give you a quick spec check reminder of what it looks like against the bug out. There you go. And of course, we're going to throw the PM2 out there as well. So there you go. And we'll definitely get a weight on it. Now, it is light. It is fairly light as far as weight goes. The price is definitely light. I like that. Yeah, 2.8 ounces. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Trade that out. Bring the old pocket over here. 
very nice deep carry definitely digging it oh there's a tiny bit of peekaboo tiny bit decent pop out of the seen a little bit stronger definitely seen a little worse it's not too bad you do have that texturing going on there but it's not gonna it's recessed texturing if you will they're more of recessed than protrusions so you're not gonna get much i don't think it's gonna eat up the pocket at all really but oh can i can i oh that freaking index finger gets in the way every time there it is oh but it slipped out so yeah yeah i'm there you go that's better i mean if you want to use the button lock to open it you know my opinion on that but if you want to feel free it's your knife right do as you wish I, no i'm digging this guys i am I, i've been a fan of the pyrite the whole time um i like the drop point i i want i would very much love to see a drop point light i would love that the warning fine it's it's got a good elongated warning it's got just a slight bit of belly going on there if you get it see if you line that up see you got a little bit of belly there a little bit of belly put that center on the line a little bit of belly just a little bit a little bit less than me we'll put it that way but the action very nice it's super droppy very good you know i'm a fan any anything that keeps my thumb out of the cutting path i'm a big fan of ergonomics are very good like i said a little bit of a slippage going on there i can feel the clip a little bit nothing major nothing too bad i'm not mad at it you know it, it's hard for me to be mad at this knife i'll be perfectly honest with you uh and it really boils down to 30 bucks I don't know how I don't know how much more I can say that. I've said it plenty of times already. Um, big fan of the Pyrite. You get a great version of the Pyrite for very, very little money. I, I think that's I, I think they hit a home run with it. That's that's where I'm sitting on the Pyrite light. They took a very, very popular model, put a slightly less expensive handle material on it kept the same steel kept it a button lock kept everything else pretty much recessed screws rec uh, deep carry clip and put it out there for 30 bucks i i find it really hard to not like this knife uh, that's that's where i'm at that's yeah that's where i'm at nothing more nothing less that's where i'm at I find it really hard to dislike this knife. Uh, there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a pyrite. It's an awesome pyrite for an awesome price. There you go. 100%. Um, really appreciate uh, the folks over at Artisan CGRB for sending this one out. Very, very much. I'm going to have a hard time giving this one away. I will, though, because they sent it to me. So I will definitely be giving it away. I might have to go get one. I'd like to see a red one. Red and black with a, you know, people, I kind of, I kind of chuckle sometimes because people say, you know, when I show a knife and somebody says, well, if it didn't have this and had this and had this, well, one, it wouldn't be the same knife. It'd be a completely different knife. So I'm kind of saying that right now, uh, but a red and black version with a drop point blade. Oh Yeah. I want to see. I would. I'd be all over that for thirty bucks. <laughs> yes, sir. Do I need another knife? Not even remotely. Would I buy one? Probably. <laughs> I probably would, just because. Just because it's a fantastic deal. So there you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate every single one of you stopping by, checking out the latest Pyrite, the Pyrite Light, guys. <laughs> like, subscribe. Leave me a comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.